5 scary ghost videos that will horrify you. Figure in the Woods YouTube user Nick Foster recorded and uploaded this upcoming video. Nick had been walking his dog Poppy in the woods one day very early in the morning. He states that his dog loves to chase squirrels, never catches any, but he loves taking her out there. On this particular day, Poppy alerted Nick that someone or something was nearby, even though it was daybreak and he swears no one else was around. Take a look. The two and a half minute video doesn't show too much, that is until just over two minutes in. Near the end of the video, we can see what Nick and his dog Poppy saw that morning. Looking at the last few seconds of the clip, we can start to see a person or figure that seems to be somewhat transparent from the waist down. The figure also appears to be wearing a trench coat of sorts. Commenters have suggested that it almost looks like an army or Soviet soldier, judging by their clothes. The person or figure's head looks as if they may be wearing a hat or even helmet. The part I thought was the creepiest though was the way in which the figure moves closer and closer to Nick and his dog Poppy at such a rate of speed. At one point, this figure is hardly visible, lost behind many of the trees in the woods. But just five seconds or so later, this figure appears right up close within a couple dozen feet away. But maybe that's just Nick panning or zooming in. Who knows? What do you guys think? Nick writes that he's skeptical about ghosts and thinks that there could just be an explanation for all of this. The Bells the Lincoln City Cathedral in Lincoln, England is the seat of the Anglican Bishop of Lincoln. Construction on the building commenced in 1072 and continued in several phases throughout the High Middle Ages. Like many of the medieval cathedrals of England, it was built in the early Gothic style and finished around the year 1300. In 2015, YouTube user Residence2001 uploaded a quick video of himself recording the bells of the cathedral going off in the evening. However, he may just have caught something more than just that. Not long after the short video starts, we see what looks like a pale or white face peeking out from around the corner of part of the cathedral. The recorder sees this, gets a fright, but plucks up the courage to get closer. But as he does, whatever this thing or person is, retreats behind the stone wall. And once the YouTuber pans around the corner, nothing is there. A very short but creepy video, the way in which the face pulls back behind the structure would no doubt give anyone the chills. Check out the original uploader's YouTube channel to watch the video again. Cemetery Activity Uploaded to YouTube on 10th of July this year, 2021, the channel Lalo Escalante, a team of three, traveled out to a cemetery somewhere in Mexico to film a video. 
The paranormal investigators started a live stream late at night inside the gates of a vast graveyard known to the group to be haunted or occupied by something uh, unhuman. The team of YouTubers walk through the cemetery looking at headstones, tombstones, but one thing in particular grabbed their attention. A crypt containing a bunch of dolls and ornaments piques their interest and they decide to perform some type of ritual. I'm assuming to call out to any spirits that may be around? Now, this probably shouldn't have happened because what happened next gave them all chills for the rest of the night. Se estás escuchando demasiado ruido, ve el, el, el ritual, todavía sigue ahí. Y estuvo muy fuerte lo que pasó en el ritual, amigos. Uy, uy. Uy, uy. Uy, uy, piñata, piñata, piñata. Se escuchó algo aquí, güey. Otra vez, güey. ¿Quién está aquí? Dinos quién eres. ¿Por qué te manifiestas en esta muñeca? ¿Qué es lo que quieres? ¿Ayuda? ¿Qué es lo que ocupas? Se está escuchando algo, se está escuchando. ¡Vi, güey! ¡Se está moviendo! ¡Se está moviendo! ¡Se está moviendo, güey! ¡A la virga, güey! Having had performed a fire ritual, the guys take a quick break, but as they're doing this, the team member in charge of the live stream has something coming from inside the crypt. He points the camera towards a small viewing gap and captures a doll starting to move inside seemingly on its own. Obviously freaked out by this, the guys make a run for it, probably not having expected their little ritual would do anything. But perhaps it did though. If strolling through a cemetery late at night wasn't scary enough, having this large doll moving or coming towards you would definitely freak anyone out. If you're interested in viewing the entire 52 minute live stream, you'll find it over on their channel, Lalo Escalante. 3 for 1 Roberto Morales uploaded a short TikTok video earlier this year showing a friend or family member taking a bag of cement out the back of a truck bed. The description of the original TikTok clip stated that Roberto's brother committed suicide late last year in the house they were outside of, recording this video. He says that if you look in front of the silver SUV, you can clearly see a very dark or even completely black figure walking past. Roberto and his family believe that this may just be his brother's spirit roaming the property. A young woman by the name of Francesca uploaded this quick compilation of supposed paranormal activity to TikTok about a year ago. The haunted house check blew up for the creepy things she included in the video, showing such things as cabinet doors opening and closing, lights and a TV flickering on and off, and even weird shaped objects appearing on screen while using the reality ripple effect. Francesca believes that her house is well and truly haunted. What do you think? This third and final short TikTok video was uploaded to the app by a married couple, Josh and Sarah. One night earlier this year, one of their two daughters was awoken by something and pulled underneath her own bed. Sarah believes that her daughter crawled under herself. However, Josh, her husband, begs to differ, claiming that she was clearly pulled by something. Watch this clip and keep a close eye on the end of the video. This is the part where it looks like the child is actually being dragged under the bed. Very creepy. Dolls. Tiberius Woodbead is a small YouTube channel from Australia with only a handful of videos most of which are on their animals from years ago. However, in the last week or so, they uploaded a video much different. The video in question shows a couple attempting to get their pet bird to learn how to kiss on demand. But it's what happened in the background of the video that originally made their Facebook viewers question a couple of things. Kiss? Come on, kiss. <laughs> oh, well. 
Chichar. What goes on in the background of this video in particular happened to be more interesting than the actual bird learning a command. Or at least that's what previous viewers of this video thought. If we replay the clip and zoom in, we can see what the owners call Lily the Haunted Doll moving seemingly on her own. After the word kiss can be heard by the owner, Lily, a small doll, sitting on a bench in the background, moves its head from a downward position to looking up. On another date, the couple caught the doll moving once again after leaving the camera rolling for long periods of time. I'm going to assume that the couple will think that the supposed haunted doll may just like the pet birds. They say after acknowledging the movement of the doll, they were both freaking out. Which I don't blame them. Tiberius Woodbead is the name of their channel, if you're interested in viewing the video again. Sightings this next video is now what many would call retro. From 1991 to 1997, the television show Sightings, hosted by Tim White, aired in America. The show would take a look at the world of the paranormal, including visitors from out of space, ghosts and spirits, and other phenomena outside the realm of conventional science. The show included many interviews with people who had witnessed and even in some cases been hurt by these supposed entities. In this particular episode of the Sightings TV show, a film crew travelled out to a house in a small town somewhere in America's heartland. The family who invited the TV show out claimed that their house was occupied by a spirit and they felt that it was trapped inside the walls of their own home. The family back then feared ridicule and persecution and even asked to have their faces blurred and their names changed. For the show, the family was referred to as Pamela, Jeff, and their infant son, Donnie. The first signs of something out of the ordinary began when the young couple moved into this 128-year-old house in January of 1993. At first, the haunting activity was subtle and only seemed to be occurring in one small bedroom at the top of the stairs. Their usually docile dog started feeling it too. She would whimper and cry any time she came near that one room. Pamela and Jeff started to feel that the persistent dog barking may have been a warning sign. As these home videos show, after the birth of their son Donnie, the bedroom was converted into a nursery. It was here in this small room that an entity began to show itself. Pictures of newborn Donnie were marred by strange blocks of free-floating light and shadows. It happened on roll after roll of film with two different cameras. Through a friend, Pamela contacted psychic Barbara Connor, who believed that she could communicate with entities from the past. Within a few minutes of her arrival, Barbara began to communicate with what she found was the spirit of a child. She said that the spirit was that of a little girl named Sally, and that she was there to protect baby Donnie. Barbara believed that the blurs and streaks in dozens of family photographs were actually a physical manifestation of Sally. The TV show Sightings wanted Edson Williams, a trick photography expert, to give them his opinion on the original negatives of the family photos. To have them analyzed to determine if anything in the camera or in the film process could account for the bizarre images. One photo that I really caught my attention was the Christmas photos. The, the highlights that ran through the image, they're localized, they're not throughout the image, they're in very small regions. And they're running at different angles. I, initially, I tried to recreate this simply with a, a few quick tricks, and unfortunately, they did not work for me. It would be a very difficult shot to recreate. Another photograph I found very interesting was one I had a small child's toy in a corner with a, a blue ghosting image around it. Uh, initially, I thought it possibly it cut out a blue gel, which would be a, a blue plastic, clear plastic, and a wiggle that in front of the camera could recreate it. But the density differences were too varied. Photographic evidence is something I always question because my job is to create illusions photographically. But these several pictures that I was shown are very difficult to explain. The family believes this is evidence of Sally, the lost spirit of a long dead girl. And like a macabre version of Mother Goose, when Sally is good, she's very, very good. And when she's bad, she's horrible. According to Pamela and Jeff, 
This is Sally's handiwork. They say a swirling, frigid aura announces her presence. Then Sally leaves welting, bloody slashes on Jeff's bare flesh, as documented in these photos and verified by many eyewitnesses. So far, Jeff has been the only victim. When our sightings crew arrived to investigate, the first step was to videotape interviews with Pamela and Jeff. These interviews were important, but the director had given strict orders to immediately turn the cameras on any strange activity as soon as it occurred. It was during this first interview session that the entity made its presence known. Jeff and Donnie watched from just behind the camera as Pamela was being interviewed first. We had gone over to my in-laws. We had come home. Um, shortly afterwards, we found all the stuffed animals that were in As Pamela areas, described a um, previous encounter with Sally, noise from a backyard chainsaw started to interfere with the videotaping. The cats were downstairs with us. Um, just nothing natural could happen. As Pamela waited for the noise to stop, Jeff called out. Is it, is it going? She don't like everybody here, did <laughs> Sally, stop it. What? How did that happen? You don't know. I, I... Sally? Go on and walk in there. Walk in there. And, and get a towel and clean it off his arm. What's going on? Uh, I can't get my sense of it. She's right here, because it is freezing right here. It is freezing. I feel it. All you do is you feel this cold go through you. That's how I just Sally? look back. Okay, Sally, it. we're going to stop. Us? Sally, we're going to stop until Barbara comes here, okay? When Barbara comes, she'll, she'll right talk here. to you and let you know. Right here. Uh -huh. I can feel it. We're, we're interviewing. It's hot. We've turned the air conditioner off for sound purposes, but it is cold right here in this part of the room. And the air conditioner is off. Mm-hmm. I just felt Look at that. The cold Look at that. Like freeze me over here. This is the same thing that occurs when Holy she's scratched his face. Holy or he's had scratches across his forehead or down his arm. She does this when she's upset. I'm still shaking. <laughs> I know, my heart's pounding too. I think I'm a little excited. I gotta tell you. Hey. Well, we've had a little excitement this morning. Oh really? Already? Yeah. The family asked psychic Barbara Connor to join our investigation. They felt Barbara could communicate with Sally and help calm her down. Feeling good? <laughs> What's this? That's what she just did. She just she did won. this? Yeah. I feel her now. Yeah, she's here. Hi, Sally. What's going on? Excitement. <laughs> she's excited. It's really cold. OK, OK, it's OK. Yeah, it's, uh, she's excited about all this. Is she yeah. liking it, or yeah. is she upset? She's upset. She's a little upset. Um, what's going on here? She says, I like it, but it's scary. Yeah, well, honey, it's scary for us, too. Yeah, We've that's never what done I, anything like that. That's what I told her. I said, I said, no, it's everybody's uptight with this. I, she scares the living daylights out of me, to be honest with you. I, I'm going to add this right now. She's right here with me right now. <laughs> I'm feeling something really cold shoot around my stomach. Um, we asked Jeff to describe what he was feeling. He looked like he was in pain, but Jeff didn't respond. For a moment, he couldn't speak. <sighs> I've lost my breath. I'm sorry. Today, in the chair, as you guys were interviewing my wife, I was sitting in the rocking chair with my son. He was playing with a little toy, and we were tilted a little forward so we could watch the interview through the doorway. When this cold just shot through my arm, and it's done it before, I knew the feeling. It's just, I can't explain the cold. It's, it freezes your bones, everything. And as I looked towards my arm, I had four scratches that were bleeding as I looked at him, and it's really frightening. Yeah. <sighs> She's just went right through my midsection. I don't... Oh, my God, look, look.
I... Oh, look, they're forming. Can't come up with an explanation why she does this. Look, it's forming right there. She tends to do this to me because I upset her sometimes. I... Throughout all of this, the family wished to remain anonymous, so the activity in their house was so bizarre they didn't want to become just another media event. And judging by all the comments on the original upload here on YouTube, viewers seem to love it and reminisce on times when this show aired. But was it all true? Were these images undoctored? And was the family's house really haunted by a young girl named Sally? What do you think? I guess we will truly never know. Creepy nonetheless. Mary King's Close in Edinburgh, Scotland has long had a reputation for being haunted. This photo from the real Mary's King's Close, a company offering tours of the underground street, reportedly shows a ghost after hours. The image comes from an infrared camera that the company uses to snap pictures of tourists. Is this a real photo of a ghost, or simply just a marketing ploy? If you or someone you know has taken a creepy video or photo and you think it's scary enough to be in a future video, send it to submit.shadowman at gmail.com and you may just see it in an upcoming video.